Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Okay, so first of all, I did actually uh, ask uh, on Discord what exactly uh, am I doing wrong. Uh, you know, if uh, uh, my game is just... Maybe I was missing a mod or something about uh, in terms of uh, the training outpost. But no, uh, I was doing something horribly wrong, so apparently I was mistaken again. Hmm, believe it or not. So apparently these... Um, new uh, training cities will only spawn on, and this is a quote, on some barren and frozen worlds. Um, oh, there's actually more. You'll know you are on one of, uh, if uh, the frozen or barren is extremely deserted. Uh, probably extremely deserted there. So, uh, uh, time to go find one, I suppose. So these will, okay, this looks blue from space. So if it's very deserted, there's going to be one of these apparently big trading cities. Oh, this looks like it could be it. Oh. First try? It mentioned, uh, the post mentioned something about a tower, I'm assuming. Yep, there it is. Okay, this is interesting. It was just next door. <laughs> Oh, at least we found it. So this is uh, supposedly the new one. There's more over there. Okay, did somebody name? Yeah, this is definitely the new one. I've seen a picture of uh, there being a portal here. All right, so this is... I wonder if uh, they'll land, if the ships will land, because they're refusing to land on the other ones. Like they are landing, just not too much. All right, so we have a starship outfitter, which is, of course, uh, you can salvage your ship or purchase... Uh, Upgrades for it, sorry. Uh, well, not really upgrades, but uh, sh storage capacity. And we have mission agents. Okay, mission agents. This is if you really want to pick up a lot of missions. We have weapons here. Okay, that's kind of nice. Uh, four terminals. I see two more on the other side. Oh, this is, this is a little bit glitchy. Uh, uh, I got myself stuck. There it is. Okay. And... Uh, Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, this just shouldn't be here, I suppose. Or I should just go on the other side. Which is a smarter thing. A class. Hmm. And there's two more over here. Even if they are S class, uh, they're too small. I guess I can still pick it up. I mean, we can have multiple multi tools now, so that's that's nice. But yeah, uh, full weapons here. And we've, of course, we have the Galactic Trade Terminal, which is just always here. Oh, I did have something to sell. I remember that. What was this thing? Okay, we're done. I had something did land. Okay, that's kind of nice. It, they just aren't landing enough. I'm not entirely sure why, but look at that. Most of them are still circling. So this is kind of nice. I kind of like it. Oh, and there's uh, uh you can buy um, this is um, you can buy storage capacity for. Your exosuit. Is that not used for anything? Can we not go there? Okay, I, I want to see what's down now. Alright, so there's a portal here as well. What is that? A-class. Hmm. Let's go down slowly. Oh, there's... M no, no, down, not up. There is something down there. I think that's a Quicksilver Synthesis bot. Judging by uh, the light and the shape of the room. Okay, this is a solid object. That's kind of nice. That is very interesting. I'm not entirely sure if this was this was supposed to be like partly buried underground or not. But I'm gonna assume it, it is supposed to be. Is this? Yeah, it is a Quicksilver Synthesis bot. Okay, well at least I'll see on what percentage the uh, backpack is at. 97? Wow! So tomorrow we're gonna be getting a backpack. And here we have an appearance modifier as well, which is kind of nice. I'm not intending to change my appearance anytime soon. Oh, we have more weapon terminals. S-Class. <laughs> well, of course, of course, there's an S-Class multi tool for you. Um, well, I could just buy it and add it to my collection. I personally don't really like how this one specifically looks just because of the circular here. I don't know, it kind of makes it weird, but I mean, I have the money to buy it. Why shouldn't I? Oh, I'm actually currently using that. Let me go into first person mode. 
Uh, I do not remember what the quick bind was for first person mode. I guess I don't have one. Huh. I don't play the game in first person mode, so it's gonna be weird for me regardless. Well, let me actually change. Uh, yeah. And let me change my multi tool back to my. Was that Herald of the Wind? It was Herald of the Wind, right? Yeah, it was Herald of the Wind. And we have... This one is better looking. Ah, do you know why I think this one's better looking? I just realized this. This looks like a bolt gun, a little bit. Uh, from uh, uh, Warhammer, 40,000. Okay, this is a very interesting structure. I do want to examine it a little bit more. We're going to have to go down, so I'm just going to slowly make my way down. Yeah, just being safe. There was nothing else up there, right? I'm pretty sure there was nothing else up there. Alright, so let's examine the structure. Now, this would be kind of nice if... Oh, there... Oh, this is this looks like it's just going to be the back of it. This would be kind of nice... Oh! Oh, these are mutated plants? What was that? Uh, abandoned object. Sit. Huh? I don't get it. But these are mutant plants, yeah. Oh, there is an invisible wall here. Okay. Yeah, there's an invisible wall. So what I was going to say is, this thing is massive. And it looks... It doesn't stand out. Like, it looks like something one of the species would build, for sure. So it would... It would be really nice if, uh... You know, just... Oh, there's more here, really. Well, let's see what this is. It would be kind of nice if, you know, uh... Hello Games decided to implement actual buildings in the game. That'd be kind of nice. Not building buildings. Oh, is this a part of... Okay, it, it does... Not exist. It is just visual. Okay, that is interesting. Or maybe I dug through it and destroyed it, but the thing is still there. Okay, that is very interesting. Are these supposed to be the piping for the city? Because this is, you know, supposed to be a city. At least that's how I understand it. Problem is, because I'm falling through it, I can't really walk on it and dig. Like, I'm currently in it. But if we're like this, I don't see it, but now I do. Okay, yeah. No, oh, no. Oh boy, that, that could have been bad. Right, this goes further down. What is going on here? What? Okay, this is solid now, and I'm running into a wall. So it looks like the structure itself, so I was wrong again. Oh my god, twice in an episode, really? It has barely been five minutes? Okay, maybe it's a little bit more than five, but... Uh, can I get out of here, please? Alright, thank you. It looks like I was wrong. Okay, I went the wrong way somewhere, but that's fine. We can, I can just exit from here. Go up, please. What? Why am I not going up? Oh, I am. Just slowly. Um, this is not supposed to be further in the ground. It's supposed to be further out, I guess. Keep going up. Keep going up. I need to go to my ship. We're going to go to the next area. To the, uh, sorry, the next one. Okay, let's see. I am very intrigued at this. Again, this would be re Really? Really? Where did I get stuck now? I'd be very intrigued if they added this. And made this into an actual city. That'd be amazing. I believe we've seen similar structures a long time ago from... I'm actually not entirely sure what mod, because back in the day I was running a couple of them. But the problem is, most of the mods don't get really updated. And you can start running into compatibility issues from time to time. So it was just better for me to just remove those. Right, so we were going over there. You can see it in the distance. So do all of these structures actually have a trading post on them? Oh, this one's just buried in the ground. Okay, that is interesting. That is very interesting. All right, I'm just gonna go fly out a little bit. See what we can find. 
You never know, you never know. Plus they're sort of easy to spot, they're kind of big and sticking out of the ground, so yeah. I thought I saw something, oh, maybe I did. Yep, I did. Alright, I'm pretty sure uh, most of these are not going to have a trading outpost on them. But, okay, you know what, we can scan. It's probably going to, oh, it didn't give us the same outpost we were just at. That is interesting. It gave us a different one. Though. All right, so it looks like there are other buildings here. Uh, but yeah, when he said barren, wow. It, that's land, but I'm pretty sure no vegetation is going to generate. Yeah, there's barren. The, truly barren. Like, there's a rock here and there's a sodium flower over there or something. Yeah, but that's it. And, oh, uh, of course, dehydrogen jelly, uh, dehydrogen, sorry, not jelly. <laughs> I'm used to saying, uh, saying jelly, so. This is very interesting. I will, I actually do like seeing, finding planets like this. It's because you really don't, and it's kind of very interesting, like, there's nothing on them. It's just finding a dead world. Alright, first we're gonna go over there. Oh, is this where we came from? Well, there's one way to find out. I dug a big hole somewhere in the ground. Uh, that's not my hole, though. That looks, uh, natural-ish. No, this is not where we were. But this one seems to be buried in the ground as well. Okay. I hit something there. Yeah, it, okay, I want to check out that one because I already scanned for it. And what is that? What? What? What is this? No, seriously. Okay, let's land somewhere. I can know the mod adds a lot of new buildings. That is, that is nice. Ah, is this supposed to be like this? Like, no textures here? Where is this? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so this is supposed to be partly buried. And yeah, there is a... yeah, floor there. This was supposed to be basically on ground level, it just didn't generate that way. Can I? Okay, I can technically dig it out to see exactly what it is, but that's gonna take a long time. And, uh, train manipulator is gone, that's fine. Oh my god, that that really will take a very long time to actually do. Is it is it just better to find one that's not buried? Maybe. I guess we'll fly towards the trading outpost. Maybe we'll see another one of these. I am very curious. Uh, mostly as to how it would look and buried. It's probably gonna have nothing on it, but I want to see. I have to know, okay. I just have to. Okay, let's just move on. It's kind of uh, pointy and long. I should be able to see it from far away. Oh, and these have a nice night light. I guess the orange thing really makes it stand out during the night. Wait, there's another one. This one has one more of these as well. Sticking out of the ground. I guess I'm looking for one that generated just slightly further on top, like isn't buried as much basically. So uh, we're gonna continue over here. There's one more! They're kind of common, which is kind of nice because if you are looking for them like me, it, at least you'll get to find one and see one. Uh, as if uh, opposed to, you know, them being very rare. Uh, and if they are, you'd, you'd be like me and never see one. Uh, like me with the treasure chest. Okay, so for example, this one is very much buried in the ground. Like far more than the other ones, isn't it? And I believe I saw one over here as well in the distance. Okay, nope, maybe not. Mm, not this one as well, not that one. So yeah, not every, not every one of these uh, towers has one. 
but some of them do oh is it just the big towers okay so it's just the big towers that is interesting wait a minute that's two of them generated next to each other okay is this one off the ground enough for me? No. No, it's not. Okay, you know what? We're just flying and looking for uh, one of those uh, pointy outpost things currently. And if we run into uh, trade outposts, we will check them out. There, there's one, there's one, there's one. We're still gonna head out in the, the trading outpost general direction. Okay, this one is not half buried, that is good. No, it's not half buried, it's fully buried. Is it supposed to spawn like that, fully buried? Maybe it is. Maybe it's supposed to look like, you know, there was a structure once here, but over time, you know, it got buried by snow or sand or whatever, you know. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna still keep looking because digging all that out is gonna take a long time and uh, it's not really the most interesting thing I could be doing, I suppose. There's far more interesting things to be doing. And, you know, apparently this, if you do have the mod, these this can spawn on barren frozen worlds. And what was it? On some barren and frozen worlds is what Red Mass said. This is, uh, like, just a, a tank here. What? That's a depot container. Oh, and there was something inside it. Look, it, when I broke it, what? Is there something? No, there's nothing in the bottom of it. But this has physics. That is very interesting. Oh, is this thing? No, it is solid. That is very interesting. It is solid. Can I actually? Yeah. Okay, that's kind of cool. And it's just, you know, a container that had some magnet gold just randomly sitting there. Do not die on it. Okay, come on. Give me controls. Thank you. All right, we're still heading there. We're going to reach the trading outpost today. Don't worry. It's going to happen. This to me is exploring something new, so I'm kind of happy. Those guys just went into the ground and then came back up. Okay, so this is a smaller tower. I think it's smaller. I'm still looking for those uh, pointy buildings. I don't know, like calling them old towers is kind of going to get confusing, so... Pointy buildings? Needle buildings? Yeah, it kind of seems off. Okay, that's a smaller, smaller sized tower. Okay, so now we haven't seen a trading outpost in a while, so the generation is definitely random. It's not like, you know, uh, like the trading outposts, even though I have seen two trading outposts relatively close to each other. Which is kind of horrible. Okay, these towers definitely uh, had something below them. Hmm. And I'm kind of really liking this world. Even though it's a frost world and I said I wasn't going to build a base in another frost world because I have too many bases on frost worlds. It's just because of the fact that it's barren. It makes it so much more appealing to me. And you might be like, oh, but why don't you just go to one of the, you know, boons? The ones that, oh, that's that one's going to have an outpost on it. That's a lot, a lot of bigger tower. A lot of bigger tower? What did I say there? Wow. Uh, bigger tower. Uh, and it seems to be buried the same amount. Oh, you know what? What I should check, but we'll check it out when we get to the other outpost. Uh, if the weapons are going to be different. But I doubt it. I'm pretty sure the the uh, systems generate a specific amount of wool. Oh, that's just the monolith. Okay. Uh, a specific amount of weapons. And their uh, server side, so... Just saying, uh, if you do want an S-Class pistol, uh, I guess portal coordinates. Uh, these are the portal coordinates down to the left. I'm sorry, I forgot to do this. Um, 
it's just because it's modded and you will not find it on a trading outpost. You'll have to actually go to the station or um, if you're not playing this mod specifically, um, you'll have to go to the station and hope to find it. If not, you're going to have to actually search the planet surface for uh, minor outposts and inside them they do have weapon uh, cases and you'll basically have to hope to look out that you get the S-Class one. What is that? What? Yeah, this, oh, this is a minor outpost. I was just talking about that. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I'm not entirely sure there was something you could do to, like, reset them so they can, uh, like, have a different weapon inside them. Uh, one from the pool, of course. Every system generates its own pool of weapons. And again, those are, I bl I'm pretty sure, server-side. So they cannot be, like, uh, they can't force an S-Class weapon. Okay, we haven't seen one of those pointy structures yet. Again, we've only seen two. I'm not really seeing anything in the distance. Like, you can make out the shadow a little bit through the fog. Just a little bit. Okay, that one's not uh, not uh, what I'm looking for. Hmm. That's why I'm hitting like a little bit, I'm swerving a little bit, just not getting, not going to uh, directly towards the trading outpost. Uh, this one's very, I, okay, maybe they are supposed to generate this way. There's another one over there. So yeah, the towers are different, they're a lot bigger. Oh, 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 well this one's like half in the mountain, but it's not as buried on one side, which will allow me to maybe dig up some of it. See exactly what's below it. Can't believe I got this lucky. I was actually, was actually uh, prepping for this to be a very long episode of me trying to find a frost planet that has specifically these things. Uh, sorry, we need a terrain manipulator. So we've already seen. Oh my god! Yeah, I'm just realizing that the terrain manipulator makes a very small hole <laughs> compared to how much we need to excavate. This is archaeology, by the way. And I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, exactly the same as the, the last one. It's not solid, it's just there. Okay. Which means, yeah, there's gonna be... Oh, we actually reached the bottom. So this is the bottom. We can't actually dig more. That is interesting. That is a... That is very shallow, isn't it? Okay, well, I suppose we're gonna go back to our ship. That's a cave. Kind of stating the obvious, I know. I hear- I heard a weird noise. Okay, after yesterday, I am just not trusting this game anymore. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just not. I'm kind of tired, and it's... Oh, it's actually 11 p.m., wow. <laughs> yeah. Again, I'm kind of tired, and normally I record this at around 1-ish a.m. Ah, it's 11 because I actually started a little bit earlier today. Okay, this is a little bit further up in the air as well, but... Oh, more of these! Well, I mean, you might as well get them, I suppose? Like, free resources? Come on, where's... Ah, oh, we don't see any more of those towers. The thin, pointy ones. We've seen only two. I need to see one more. There's a lot of outposts here, though. Look at that. There's one. Oh! 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 Is this one? No, it's not. Okay, I guess they are really supposed to, like, generate this way. Okay. Yeah, that was like uh, buried as well. Oh, one more depot container. It's kind of the same color as uh, sorry as the snow here, so it's a little bit difficult to uh, you know tell it apart, especially if you're not like specifically looking for it. Oh no, that's not it. Oh, 
I thought I saw something in the distance, but I guess not. Hmm. Now we're closing in on the trading post. Oh, there's one more over there. That's a little bit more glossy, so... Come on, just just one that's not buried. Just just one. Just one, I swear, please. I need to see. And the problem is I can't really go back to the other ones because I have no idea where they are at the moment. Oh yeah, I can try and fly back, that's not gonna help me. I'll probably get lost and not get to where I'm going. I've tried that, trust me. So one of the very first uh, uh, recordings of No Man's Sky that I had, maybe it was like around episode 10-ish. So I was farming in between episodes some materials and I was kind of far away. But I was basically traveling like this, you know. Like what I'm doing now because I didn't really know you could uh, travel faster in space or whatever. Uh, I don't remember but I was traveling this way and I passed by a crash freighter. Now I didn't know what a crash freighter was at the time. I just want to take a look at around here. I didn't know what a crash freighter was around, uh, you know, that time. So, uh, you know, still very early in my No Man's Sky experience. And I really wanted to show it off. The problem is I didn't mark it in any way. So I was like, I'll just remember. I'll just go, you know, I noticed where, uh, what direction I was going in. And I was like, you know, I'll just find it later. Okay, it's bright. Maybe now I can see a little bit better. Something pointy around? No, not by looks of things. And afterwards I flew for like, I don't know, for a very long time trying to find it. Just so you know, I can show it on my channel. But, why am I here? Wait, 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 what? Wait, no, what? What is this? This is a normal trading outpost. I just realized that. <laughs> what? Oh, so the scanner doesn't consider those trading outposts. That is very interesting. But there is one over there. We're, we're gonna go land over there. Uh, yeah, and I couldn't find it. Just because, you know, if you don't... Put a marker down it's really hard i didn't know that the game had a coordinate system as well maybe if i had known that you know i would have been able to at least take a note of where exactly it was and go back but basically i caught like a, a glimpse of it and i was like you know what i should definitely go back there when i start recording and no but that did not happen because yeah because i couldn't get back to it Okay, I'm, I know it's only going to be pistols. A-class... S-class? No, A-class again. And as you can see, yeah, you can buy these over here. But we don't really need those now, do we? We killed that, right? I mean, uh, not killed, sorry. Looted. And we have travelers, we have the save... Oh, right, these tables are save points, which is kind of nice. Um... And we have a couple of, uh, you know, just people here chatting about. That's kind of nice. But yeah, I suppose we'll be uh, ending things off here. I know today's episode wasn't really much, but I really wanted to do this. I really wanted to find one of these and uh, I guess uh, afterwards I just kind of rolled with it. You know, it happens. Plus, it's, I'm very interested. This is like... Don't just think about it. The concept of it. This is an actual, you know, sort of trading hub, except, you know, there's not a lot of people, but, you know, again, there's a lot of things that can be done. Just the idea behind it, you know, that tower, you know, you land, let's say like that person over there, you land, you go here, you like have all the basic necessities of uh, what you're going to need, like a trading terminal, a couple of people that might give you a mission or two. Uh, there's a weapon terminal as well, you know, if you want to swap out and uh, you can you should you can enter this for example now you can't in the mod you can't there it is it isn't in the base game so you can't but you can't in the mod but um, you know maybe you just think about it you enter that tower and inside is like a big trade hub like a marketplace and there's a lot of these vendors selling different stuff maybe you could maybe at different prices you know stuff like that it'd be kind of interesting yeah but you know again i doubt that that's ever gonna happen I'm pretty sure uh, that's never going to happen, but yeah. It's just kind of ideas of what could... Oh, is that for me? No. <laughs> that's just part of the station. Don't don't shoot the station. And again with this thing. What? I need to see that 
The Marvel of Truth? What? Where is it? There it is. Look at that. I don't think I've ever... I need that thing to land. Please tell me you're going to land. I really want you to land. I'm still looking at it. I'm hoping it lands. I want to see that thing up close. Come on. Yeah, until it lands, I'm not ending this. I don't care. <laughs> well, that one's off. Come on. Come on. Just, I know it's, it's going to happen now on this pass. Oh, that was way faster than the rest of them. Wow. Okay, it looks like other ships are landing, but these are not for some reason. Oh, oh, no, no, still nothing. Look at that. Come on, land. I can't take the camera that too, that's too far. I can't take the camera out that much. Uh, what I can do is take my ship there. Uh, it's probably going to decide to land as soon as I do that. Where is it? Where is it? There, everything else has landed. You're the only thing that hasn't landed. Come on. Come on. I don't think I've seen a ship like that. Like, it's a hauler, but with four of those uh, spheres attached to it. I've seen, I think, with two. But with four, that is very interesting. This is a very tiny hauler as well, over here. I wonder, what's going to happen if I'm on it and it decides to take off? Uh, I do know the old proverb where the curiosity did, did do something bad to the cat. The marvel of truth. Okay, come on, take off. I'm pretty sure it's just waiting to land over here or over at where my ship is, which is going <laughs> to kind of be annoying. Or... Maybe. Ah, the terrain manipulator cannot reach there. It is the only ship that hasn't landed. Oh no, okay, so they don't care. <laughs> At all. Sure. Come on, land. Yeah, it's probably waiting for the spot or my ship spot or something. I don't know what's going on. Oh, 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 oh. It's coming in. I just watch as the ship takes off and I die. What? Where are you landing? Oh, this thing's taking off. I don't see the... The pilot anywhere. Yeah, I don't see the pilot anywhere. Is it not gonna take off while I'm here? Let's see. No, there's the pilot. Okay. I need to see your ship. This is the first time I've seen this. I move the sun a little bit. What is this? Look at that. Of course I'm going to take a picture. Oh, that's, that's, I th I'm pretty sure that's the first time I've seen one like this. Oh, that one just took off. Oh, what's with the maneuvering? I guess we're going to be hitting things off here, though. <laughs> I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and I do hope to see y'all in the next one.